going on, everybody? Welcome inside fitnessinformant.com, Fitness Informant's YouTube channel. I'm FI founder and CEO, Ryan Buckeye. I want to thank you for stopping by to check out 100% honest, no bullshit review of Performax Labs Stim Max. Stim Max is exactly what it tells you it is. It is a stim based pre workout. It's not over promising in other areas. It's telling you this is going to be a stimulant based pre workout. So, right off the bat, what they're focusing on is energy and focus from the use of stimulants. Today, we're going to talk about this product on five different categories. First, we're going to look at the ingredient profile, like what's in this, what makes it called Stim Max. Then, we're going to talk about the effectiveness. Does this do as it says it's supposed to do? That's ultimately what we're here for, right? Third, we're going to talk about taste. Fourth, we're going to talk about mixability and show you a video of our mixology test. And then finally, we're going to talk about the value. So let's dive into this baby right away. This is a 6.5 gram serving size. Very small, but when you think about stimulants, they're not dosed extremely high. So we start off right away with 2,000 milligrams, 2 grams of choline bitrate. Choline is a cognitive enhancing ingredient that's going to help you uh, increase focus, increase memory, and uh, reduce anxiety. It really helps you get to the gym and understand, like, I'm here to bust ass in the gym, nothing else, block everything else. Two grams is an awesome dosage of this. Typically, you see that a gram in pre-workouts. We're getting two full grams of choline, which I am going to be a huge advocate of because I love the products and I love the ingredients that include cognitive enhancing ingredients that promote focus. Next, you're getting a massive of dosage of caffeine and hydros at 425 milligrams. This is going to be one of the highest dosed caffeinated pre-workouts on the market, especially in such a little punch. 425, to put that in perspective, think of a cup of coffee around 85, 90 milligrams. So you are at about five cups of coffee. Five cups of coffee in one scoop of this to get you your caffeine. On top of that, they're actually going to include a stimulant at 250 milligrams that I'm a fan of. It's Iria Jurensis. Now, Iria Jurensis is an alternative to DMAA, DMHA, very similar, but I actually prefer it. I like it better. Uh, it's not in a lot of products because it's hard to get and a lot of places can't, you basically you can't export this to certain countries. So, Iria Jurensis at 250 milligrams is a stimulant that's going to work awesome with caffeine to really really do two things. Obviously, it's going to stimulate your central nervous system. It's going to provide amazing energy, and it's going to contribute to the focus factor of this product. Then you're going to have dynamine at 200 milligrams, yielding 40% dynamine. Here's how you do this. You take the 40% and multiply it by the dosage of 200 milligrams. This is 80 milligrams of actual dynamine, not 200, but 80. That's even still pretty good. So Compound Solutions, the creator of Dynamine, says that ideally they want about 100 milligrams of Dynamine mixed with a minimum of 150 milligrams of caffeine. 425 milligrams of caffeine with 80 milligrams of Dynamine. Dynamine essentially is going to be the long-standing energy complex of this. So caffeine and hydros is going to hit you hard right away. Iria Jurensis with that is going to help that. But the Dynamine is going to help with focus and sort of keep that level going before you taper off and crash. I'd like to see just a little bit more, but 80 milligrams is nothing to be sad about. A lot of places nowadays are trying to potentially trick you by putting, hey, 100 milligrams of dynamine yielding 40%, which is only 40 milligrams of dynamine. So you make sure you keep that in mind when you're looking at your ingredient labels. Next, you have hornamine and hygienamine at 75 milligrams each. This is a big dosage here. I typically see this around 50 milligrams. So 75 milligrams of hornamine and hygienamine. Uh, these are fat burning ingredients that are used in a lot of fat burners. It it's a stimulant. Obviously, it's going to stimulate your central nervous system, which is going to increase energy. So lots and lots of stims, lots and lots of energy coming out of this profile. Next, you have 30 milligrams of something that I'm not going to pronounce because they use the actual scientific name on this due to labeling guidelines, but it's what you and I commonly refer to it as Nupep. Nupep is a nootropic. It is an amazing ingredient that is actually one of my favorite nootropic ingredients that helps you focus and zone, and it pairs very well with caffeine. If you remember the old uh, Blackstone Labs Dust Extreme, that had 20 milligrams of Nupep, and we get 30 milligrams here, which I'm a huge, huge fan of. The next ingredient at 25 milligrams, again, another big name that I'm not going to pronounce because I'm not going to butcher it, but it's commonly known to you and I as Kana. Kana reduces anxiety at 25 milligrams. It's a good dosage of Kana. Reducing anxiety, pairing with, basically you bring your anxiety down, your stress levels down, you're able to focus in on what you're trying to do in the gym, which is clang and bang and get that energy up and get a good workout in. Next ingredient is Huperzine A at 20 milligrams. Uh, this is standardized to 1%, so this is 200 micrograms of Huperzine A. That's how you do the math. Really good. This is like double the dosage of a lot of pre-workouts. Huperzine A is another cognitive enhancing ingredient that's going to pair well with Kana, Choline, and Nupep, contributing to the caffeine and a great focus overall. Lastly, you have Rolofa. 
uh, basically you're having raloxine at 202 milligrams. Sorry, it's very similar to yohimbine. Uh, it's going to be a stimulate that's going to help with fat burning. It also is going to help increase energy. Uh, these are typically very low dosages because this stuff packs a big punch. I would not go over two milligrams, especially if you're new to this. I've seen it as high as four, but it can cause heart populations, which is kind of crazy. It's a very strong ingredient. So as you can see, StimMax is no bullshit. It's a straight stimulant-based pre-workout with some agitated cognitive enhancing functions, which is really what you're going to get. You know, for what it is, right? It's not, it's not giving you beta alanine. It's not giving you citrulline. It's not telling you it's going to provide you pump, strength, or endurance, right? It's telling you it's going to provide you energy and focus, two of the five pillars. So for what it is, it's an excellent pre-workout for what it is. Now, in terms of like all around pre-workout, yes, it's absolutely missing things in the strength, endurance, and pump aspect, but they're not telling you that that's what this is. They're not trying to sell you an all-in-one pre-workout. They're telling you this is a stimulant-based pre-workout and that's exactly what you're getting. In terms of effectiveness, great. This is really good. In terms of a stimulant, this is one of the better stimulant-based pre-workouts I've ever taken that does not overpromise. Meaning it's not telling me I'm getting pump. It's not telling me I'm getting strength and endurance. It's telling me I'm gonna get kick-ass energy and great focus. Those two things excel very well. Uh, at some, it might be too much if you're not a stim person. 425 milligrams of caffeine with uriagerensis and dynamine and yohimbine-like ingredients, it can be a lot. But if for those stim junkies out there, you're gonna really, really enjoy this. It. Very effective. In terms of flavor, this one's raspberry lemonade. Listen, it's six and a half grams. You just need a little bit of water and you stir it down. You don't even get a chance to really taste it, but it doesn't taste bad at all. It's a decent flavor. It's different than what we typically see in a pre-workout. It's not fruit punch. It's not blue raspberry. It's raspberry lemonade. It's a good flavor. In terms of mixability, really little water, as you'll see here on the screen, we did not use a lot of water because at six and a half gram serving size, Four to six ounces of water should be sufficient. You go ahead and take one scoop, you mix it up, you shake it a couple times, you pour it in the glass, you pretty much chug this one down. So even if it has particles, it's not that concerning. But overall, as you can see here from the video, it's not too crazy bad. The, the overall mixability of this should be good at six and a half grams. They're not all soluble in water, so you're gonna have some residue, some particles. If you need to add a little bit of extra water at the end to swish it down, that's fine and dandy. It should not affect your decision pretty much to purchase this because it's not bad. And it's not the best in the world, but it's not the, 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 the worst in the world either. In terms of value, this is 25 servings for 35 bucks. Now, if you're looking just for a hard hitting stimulant based pre-workout, totally worth it. If you want something with beta alanine and Pico2 and citrulline and Hydromax, like you're not getting with this. And you can get pre-workouts that have those things for like 40 bucks for 20 servings. So you're getting 25 servings for 35 bucks. I think because you're getting an additional five servings and you're taking five bucks off the top line price, it's a valuable product. It's a stem based product that does really well and it's going to gift you what you need. A lot of people like to supplement with their own citrulline. A lot of people like to supplement with a pump powder. If that's you and that's the case, you can do your pump powder. You can do the stem based pre-workout, which could limit your pump a little bit just FYI, but it's worth it. And check below to see if we have a coupon code to save you a few dollars on this product as well, along with the purchase link to a preferred vendor, which you can save the most money at. Make sure you follow us on all of our social media channels. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the red subscribe now button here below to stay up to date with all Performax labs and other pre-workout reviews and more. Make sure you check out our podcast. It's called Be Informed, Live Fit. We're on iTunes, Spotify, right here on YouTube, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Podbean, and more featuring great guests from within the fitness community and great deals as well. Make sure at the end of the day, you visit our official website where we feature huge supplement deals, real t rankings and reviews from real tests. We're online at fitnessinformant.com.